So here's the video about concept art and how I'm gonna use concept art to improve my designs. And I'm redesigning one of my main characters. Uh, hopefully you like the video. At the beginning, there's gonna be a lot of tapping. And for the most part, I have to be pretty quiet because I recorded this late, so here we go. All right, it's time to stop putting up the video for like ever. I need to finish this because uh, I'm like always drawing. But the thing is that like I'm always drawing on my computer and I don't feel like editing the video on my computer, so. You know, we're, we're, we're taking it, we're taking it like this, we're taking it like this, so, uh, bear with me, bear with me. Uh, so I've been wanting to make a video about concept design and, like, how to use concept design to study your own concept design, your own art, and things like that, and I don't know specifically, um, the best way to study it, but I wanted to do it myself and to see, like, if I could take some of the parts of the art and put it into mine, because I think that's just a pretty cool concept, and, uh, concept design is definitely one- what I want to do in the future. Uh, so I'm gonna work on this, right? And uh, my only bias is that I'm only gonna choose designs that I like. Uh, that's probably the hardest part is finding something that I enjoy. This is pretty, this is very pretty. From what I see with this, you can really see the fact that it's like kind of like a butterfly and or uh, some sort of like moth type creature you can tell with the motif. Uh, and it's like, it's all like, yeah, you can even like put it in the shirt, you get, you get like other designs that are like butterflies. I think like if I'm gonna make a character, then I'm gonna need a motif for the character. I may want to do something with flowers because like, like a lot of fla- I did not want to report that. Um, there's a lot of flowers that are like related to the idea of rebirth and I've been wanting to redo my character, which is Amara. I've been wanting to redo my character Amara, who definitely has things to do with rebirth. So I've been wanting to redesign this character, except like I redesign this character every day. So I kind of want to have something that'll stick, but is also something that I'll be happy with, right? And I don't want it to be basic. Like I want it to be something that can change. Oh, this is perfect. I can choose from that. I want it to be something that can change, but you can still recognize who the character is and I may even change the hair like my character Amara has this hair which is half pink half brown and it's been like that for years like three years but I might even change that because I don't know how that even relates to the character like why would it be like that uh, I think like if I do want to take out the, the like the half pink half brown hair I'm not actually going to take it out I think I'm just going to make the hair more like mixed up you know instead of having one half and one half it's gonna be like majority brown and then like some pink highlights everywhere i feel like that would work a lot better you can make the under part of the hair pink and the normal hair brown but again like the under part would be difficult to do because they have curly hair so i think i'm just gonna do like you know the part the, the part oh <gasps> what the fuck this is perfect. Now, if I'm gonna look at this design, I definitely think the fact that the hair is pink is what makes the entire character just pop off. But I definitely do not want the entire hair of my character to be pink. I want I want the three colors to be uh, brown, pink, white. Okay, so this is where I actually start making the character. I'm gonna just freestyle this. So first of all, I wanted to see what I could do with the pants. Like the pants, I used a few as references, ones that were like bigger and circular, but I didn't think that I really wanted circular pants. So even though I played around with the design a little bit, I eventually was like, yeah, no, I don't want that, right? But again, I still want to keep the hair basically the same other than like taking out the long ass hair. Like maybe I might put the long ass hair back, but I don't know still. Like the long ass hair was cool, but and I love long ass hair, but I mean for this design I didn't think it fit really well. But yeah, I still want that kind of like semi formal wear and then the semi, you know, unformal wear, but also like majority is like, you know, I'm I'm serious, but it's like the design looks cool as well. I want the design to look mad cool. And I took a few designs from a bunch of places. I, I was looking at a bunch of different art at the same time. Even old art that I didn't even look to find on printers before. Like, I just had it on my reference page. I just had it there, yeah. And then I put on the tie because I had a reference with the tie. And then I put on the, the uh, wings because 
uh, I was gonna, I was referencing a crow. I wanted the design to be a little bit like a crow design, you know? Because crows also have to do with rebirth. I found that out like a while ago and I've always been wanting to implement some sort of like crow motif into the character design, something sort, and now I'm doing the line art, you know? You, you see me doing it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But even some parts didn't make it to the final cut, even though you see them right there, like sometimes, you know, I gotta change a little bit. But yeah, the, the circular pants were gone. I switched it to his normal, like, or her normal, you know, straight legged pants, you know, that, that type of shit. And then I had like little ruffles on the arm because I really like ruffles. I love ruffles. Like, uh, you, you, you tell me to look at Himeko's design and I'm just like, oh, I love ruffles. Like, I need to keep that shit in 24-7. <laughs> I put ruffles on the shirt. I put ruffles on the back. Like, I feel like... It gives me more options to design and color it like most definitely i was originally going to keep those little like lines you see the lines right there below the uh i don't know jacket thing it was supposed to be like in reference to the photo but i feel like that didn't work really that much in the entire design because the entire design looks pretty sophisticated and now like if i kept those in they wouldn't be very sophisticated but yeah i put some hearts and i was gonna i was gonna make the pants like a little bit open as you can see here but again i switched it back because i didn't really like the open look and i was fucking with those shoes those shoes got me fucked up but then i switched to coloring because i was like i give the fuck up like let's go so i decided that i was gonna make the pink highlights be the pink and then the brown hair be the majority of the hair which worked it worked really well and i kept that but uh again with the flowers like i was trying to figure out what color i wanted to do i didn't know if i wanted to do dark i was like really messing with the colors a lot because you can tell when the colors look good and when the colors don't look good and that's when i was like yeah uh i'm switching it up i'm switching it up and i was trying to put in blue there i was like yeah the red isn't working out so I'm, i might switch it around a lot more than i thought that i would at the beginning i kind of also forgot that some of the ruffles were in the back like i mess i miscolored that but i ended up fixing it in the future and yeah i decided that i was gonna try to make the entire thing a little bit like gray black type shit and we go back to like the general design that i had at the beginning at least color wise like the color i'm changing it back and switching it back trying to trying to see what will work what will not work and i was like switching it with pink and uh, you know white and stuff like that and i switched like finally i switched i was like you know what? i'm gonna just do white and then i started putting in the wings the proper wings for the hair and i was like yo well in the hair and i'm like yo that's kind of cool that's kind of cool so then i wanted to make another sketch to show off the design a little bit more but eventually i was just like having fun with it like i was just messing around like honestly and uh the ruffles the ruffles were definitely something that i had to practice with i definitely was like i need to practice more with these ruffles so i was like looking at photos for ruffles and stuff and no i did not perfect it but uh i was like you know what let's just figure out a cool pose and then maybe maybe change up the design a little bit to make it work for the photo for <laughs> for the gram but i think it looked really cute in, in the end and you you can see you can see the rest of the process that's that i'm going through and yeah yeah So here's the design and for the most part I was looking at the character thinking like does this pass the silhouette test but also does it look very like nice to look at with your eyes does the colors make it look very nice and that's what I was thinking about like I took most of it to my opinion than to actually you know look up the facts but I think in my opinion I am very happy with the design I think it looks pretty cool so um yeah uh, thank you for watching I appreciate you watching through the entire video uh, I have an Instagram, Zuri Camille, the same as my YouTube, and you can go follow that, and I post a lot of art there, so check it out.